Hello there, Sam from Cycle Factory. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, decided um, to do something a little bit, uh, try something a little bit different with the QB bike. Um, as you may have seen from our other stuff, I've um, been riding a um, Cube Stereo 160 Action Team a little bit that Brian has got. Um, Come on, get round, Bessie. Yes, it's a whole lot of fun. Um, and yeah. <laughs> so let me just flip you around. So here we are. So with this new Bosch Smart System, um, so you've got the remote and then the display. So the new system, the wires, you can unplug these wires. Uh, so it is possible to, or supposed to be possible to plug the feed from the bike directly in, into the remote and you can just do away with the screen. Use the Bosch Flow app so you get everything on there if you need it. Um, just be interested to see what it looks like, you know, tidied up the cockpit area with no screen and stuff. So let's have a little go. So basically, it's a case of unplugging wires from the back of the screen, the display area there. So the feed that comes up from the bike, there is more in there and Andy builds them, he, he feeds it back inside but we should be able to just pull this uh, feed out from the bike, unplug this one to the remote, bring that across under these uh, little rubber things and directly into the remote so uh, it's just like a three mil allen key to remove that, get the screen off so let's have a little do. Okay so just to prove the theory we've pulled a bit of uh, the feed up from the bike uh, this just simply pulls out. They do have a little white mark on them. Can you see that there? Mm -hmm. uh, that lines up at the bottom, and on this one, it's at the bottom as well. Um, so again, I've just loosened the uh, the remote off so I can get this to come out. Just gently wiggle it out. Uh, just testing it for a start. So white mark to the bottom. Plug that in and uh, come over here, let me switch on. So remote switch is on, colours are telling you what mode you're in. Um, you know, so greens, eco, blues, blues tour, purple, EMTB and turbo. Batteries obviously, you know, you can make do with that. Like I say, if you're using the app, you've got all your stuff on there for your ride anyway. I'll give you all the other stuff. Um, so really it's just a case of if we uh, decouple the wire from the back of the speedo, 3 mil allen key, just do that. You may, yours may be mounted in a different place when Andy builds these, he puts them over the stem, it is the most, the best looking place for it we think, you, can't, you might have it down to the side or out in front. So now it's left to do is just feed this under the rubber mounts, take away this short cable that did feed the display, um, and then we'll see how it looks. So everything's uh, tidied up. Look at that. that. Looks more like it, doesn't it? Nice, uncluttered. So these little acid band rings have a little slot for the wire in them. Just rotated that one and run it underneath the bar to the next one. And then pulled up the slack. If you uh, if you drop the battery down, and you can just pick up the wire here, just pull it back and then loop it back inside. You do need to drop the battery out to do that. But that looks way better. Uh, we'll just uh, switch on. So there we go. Excited to try that. Looks totally different. Uh, 
any comments if you or questions if you put them in the uh, in the section below and I'll get back to you um, let us know what you think is it something you've tried already or think you would try like I say got the flow app um, all these stats and stuff will come up on there um, so it's not like you're really missing out it just cleans it all up if you're a bit more of a traditional uh, mountain biker then looks good so thanks for watching if you liked it give it a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe and hit the bell notification so you miss, don't miss any future videos cheers bye bye